Good morning, Roberto. Um, you must have been very pleased with the second half performance in Portugal. It's given you a big advantage with a home game to come against the holders. I'm very pleased for all the game, Porto. We play a good game because uh, we leave a few chances uh, to Porto and we have uh, three or four chances to score. Maybe in the second half we play maybe to, to high and uh, we play better. How dangerous, though, are they as a football team? They, they, they proved in the first 20 minutes they certainly played at pace. Every game is dangerous, but it's better to start from 2-1. Uh, but we know that Porto is a top team and uh, we should play like if we start 0-0. Uh, I think that uh, it's a difficult game, will be a very difficult game, depending on us. We need to play very well. Respecting what you said in Portugal about Carlos, are you going to meet with him this week, Roberto? I'm, I'm here for, to talk about Porto. There's no meeting planned, though? Meeting tomorrow against Porto. Today, no. How seriously, then, are you taking this competition? It seemed, from last week, this is a, a very serious competition for Manchester City. <laughs> for us, uh, every game is serious. Uh, we want to win uh, all the games. Sometimes it's possible, sometimes not. But for us, it's a serious competition. Um, Roberto, could I just ask you about Samir Nasri? Has he um, has it been difficult for him integrating into the team and the squad? And how do you feel he's done? No, Samir, uh, I think that when you change uh, a team, maybe you can have some problem in the first three, four months. Uh, but uh, Samir uh, is a high-quality player. I think that he's improved a lot in the last two, three months. I think that he can improve because he's a young, uh, but uh, he brings here a lot of quality. Professor, can I ask you about Joe Hart? So Alex Ferguson said that he could have signed him for £100,000 and it's one of his biggest mistakes that he didn't do so. How important has Joe Hart been to you? Soon? Hi, Joe Hart. You remember when I put Joe in goalie for Shea? Oh, it's a big mistake. No, but it's normal because uh, we we had two fantastic keeper. Uh, Coche is a fantastic keeper. Joe for me the same. Joe maybe was uh, was uh, younger than Shea, but uh, I thought that uh, Joe can be a, a top quality keeper for the next ten years for Manchester City for for England team. For this reason, uh, I changed. Uh, I think that uh, it's the same uh, like uh, Samir. He's a young, he's a good keeper. He can improve a lot. Uh, he needs to work uh, because uh, it's not important to arrive on the top, but to stay on the top. Uh, for this, you need to work serious uh, for 10, 12 years. Roberto, are you, are you disappointed there's been no apology from Porto about the racist abuse of your players last Thursday and, and that City have had to make their own case to UEFA? See, I don't know what's happened. I, I said <laughs> because I was uh, concentrated on the game, I didn't enter the, this. Uh, but uh, you know, everywhere there are some uh, not clever people. This is uh, the life. Just on that, Roberto, um, was Mario upset with with what happened, and, and how has he how has he been since? <laughs> I don't think, but I think Mario for this uh, is uh, strong enough. Uh, uh, this is what's happened also sometimes when I play in Italy, in France. Uh, but uh, Mario is strong. Okay, can I just check on the team news for, for tomorrow? Have you any injury concerns? No, no, no. All the players are, are available. Just back to Sam, Samir again, Roberto. How, how has he improved? How, how, which aspects of his game have you, have you actually looked at improving? No, I think that uh, Samir is an offensive player. But, you know, uh, today in this football it's important that uh, if you want to play with more offensive players, you need that every player, also the striker, work also in defensive phase. Samir improved a lot in this. Also against uh, Porto, uh, he worked in defensive phase in the first half. Uh, he had the chance to score. And uh, it's like David Silva. Uh, if we, we want to play with Silva, Samir, Aguero, Balotelli, Zek, we need that these four players work uh, also when we defend. If not, it's impossible to win uh, 
this game. And what about, what about Pizarro? Will, will he feature? No, David, David is OK. He played the, the last game, uh, end of November. Maybe he's not 100%. Maybe he needs to, to, to work. Uh, but uh, I hope that he can play in, in the next game. I don't know when. Uh, but uh, we have uh, 13 games in uh, Barca's Premier League. We had other, if we are in the final, we had other seven or eight games in Europa League. I think that uh, could be an important play because he has experience, he has quality. Roberto, do you feel that this competition this season is important for the club in terms of raising the profile in Europe and raising the club's level of success, not just on a domestic level, but on a European level, even though it is the Europa League? Yeah, but in Europe uh, there are two competitions, uh, Europa League and Champions League. Uh, we played in Champions League for the first time uh, this year. Uh, we were uh, really unlucky because with 10 points it's difficult, you, you don't go in the second stage. But now we play Europa League. Uh, if we win Europa League, I think for the club it will be uh, an important moment. Uh, I don't think that will be easy because uh, in this competition there are uh, a top squad. But uh, we want to arrive in the final. Uh, it's an important uh, target for us. Could it be a safety blanket if the club doesn't win the Premier League in terms of the season still being successful, winning a trophy? No, no, we want to win also Premier League. We want to win. We are here for, for this. We are on the top. Uh, we are 13 games. If we win maybe the next 12 games, we win a Premier League. Professor, can I just ask, did you listen to the Sir Alex Ferguson interview on the radio last night? No. Did you, have you heard anything about it? No. Waste of time then. Um, can I just ask one last question about Carlos Tevez then? I love you for your job. I understand everything. But I can answer always about Carlos Tevez. We have an important game tomorrow. We have a time. We have another three months to talk about Carlos Tevez. Okay. <laughs> Sorry.